first official full day in Mallorca. Yesterday, or the past two days, was a long travel day. A struggle bus. Where a lot of things could have gone wrong, mm -hmm. but thankfully nothing did. Mm -hmm. The biggest thing we're worried about is we had to, we landed in CDG, but had to transfer to a different airport to get to here, the Orly one. But everything went super smooth. We had like an hour and a half to kill at the airport once, airport once we got there. Uber in France is pretty good. Uber in France, Uber France was Uber good. Uber in Paris is pretty good. Yeah. We got our bag, we had, our, we had to check in our bag, that came, yep. and now we are at the Alua Sol Mallorca Hotel, Yep. right? We're here for three nights. Yep, yep, yep. It's very resorty. I mean, there is an all-inclusive option, we didn't do that. We just did um, the breakfast option, but there is a lot of different things you can do. It feels like, mm -hmm. like a Cancun resort. Cancun Cabo resort. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and even before here, they were like, oh, you're getting a manual transmission car. Oh. <laughs> and we were like, no, no, we paid for the automatic, so can we get an automatic, please? So they didn't have us have our, our Mini Cooper with yeah, the uh, top down, I whatever. A Mini Cooper. So they gave us a BMW, so it's an upgrade essentially, but. And anyways, Still. easy to drive here. Super yeah. easy. Not oh, yeah. A, not a lot of cars. Roads are super simple to follow. We drove like 50 now. minutes from the airport to here, Palma but got here. Yeah. Kind no. Of problem something like that yeah and then we slept really well so Somehow. ready to hit day number two we are gonna head out to Cala de Or I think I'm saying that correctly check out the town the beach our hotel has a really nice beach which is really cool but it's pretty crowded right now and we're we're, we're like always here so might as well go out and explore mm -hmm. but that's it Parking here so far hasn't been too bad. It was a little hard in the beginning where, mm -hmm. um, so you can't park in the blue areas. I think it's only a 30 minute area, but once you do find like a parking area, there was a lot of spots. Yeah. So, yeah. so far. But if you want to okay. get closer to like the, the beach. attractions, it might be a little hard. But we still found another spot. It is our second full day here in Mallorca and I wasn't going to come out here today but I just kind of randomly woke up early 6.37, not like super early but Tyler was going to come so I just decided to join him don't know what I'm going to do yet but this is like the outdoor fitness center and it's empty, we got all to ourselves got some basic weights, a bench and then today, the plan is to go to the Centenni market, which I'm really excited for. It's kind of like an outdoor farmer's market where they sell like craft goods, things like that too. And then go to the beach, and then we have reservations at a paella restaurant tonight, so I'm really excited for that too. 
Um, but let's just get this out of the way. So we are headed now to the Centenni Market, which happens every Wednesday. They just cleaned our room, so I'll do a quick room tour inside first. So that's the door. <laughs> From the door, there's this little closet area right here. That's the bed. It looks like it's like two twin sizes put together. And very spacious, very clean. TV that we haven't turned on yet. Lots of space, lots of space for everything. And here is the bathroom. So the bathroom here is very spacious. Shower. The sink, the sink I just wish had more shelving so we can put a lot of our stuff, toiletries, makeup things on. But that's okay, we'll make do. The bed is super comfortable. We've been sleeping very well lately, which we usually don't do in hotels. And we have a little balcony with a sea view. This nice little turf seating area. This is the main pool area along with the beach. This is Cala Egos, Egos, I believe. This here gets pretty packed. So we made it to Santani. The parking was okay. We It's like 10.30 right now? Uh, 10.45. 10.45, the market opened at 9. So the parking was full, but we still were able to find street parking. And now we're just following all these people. So assuming we're going to the city center because everyone, everyone wants to go to the market. Look at all these cute buildings. in this little strip of free public parking here. This is like our third time coming to the Calador area and there always seems to be parking like middle of the day or dinner time like right now 7, 7.30 almost dinner time. Just gotta walk a little bit. Gotta walk a little bit. That's okay. That's really not too bad. Not too bad. So that's the lot right there and it's right up in front of this roundabout. That's hotel. Calador. There's a convenience store there and a bus station. Is there a street name on there? I don't know. But look at all these chickens. It's <laughs> a lot. Look at all. One, these two, chickens. three, four, five. Holy, six, seven, eight, nine. These weren't here yesterday. And the street cleaning chickens. Oh, yeah, I Maybe you think you can even get close to the Yes. This is literally the cast of SpongeBob. They go through so much. Who's who? Well, that's Larry the Lobster. It's just that's a lot. It. That's it. 
so we are in Palma de Mallorca now. We are gonna spend the day here. Don't really have a plan plan, but definitely wanna just do some shopping, walking, checking out the historical sites. Sightseeing. Sightseeing. Going um, to the bathroom. <laughs> That'd be all. It's the main priority. But City we'll is see where the day takes us. City is beautiful and clean. It's very clean. Doesn't smell. No smell. There's clouds, so it's nice and cool right now. So we are happy at the yeah. moment. We're a little concerned about parking, but we found like this parking garage. It's just yes. a, so, the first one that we saw and then went in. I don't know how expensive it is, but at least we found parking. Can't be too expensive. Yeah. 